and for something a little bit different today, uh, this is a, a Grenache from Monson, you know, which is up in, uh, near Priorat in Spain, by the Barbier family in partnership with some others, including an American importer called Christopher Kenan. Uh, and this is a label which is, es uh, the name is Espectacle, es Espectacle in Spanish, so it's spectacle or sight if you want. And it is truly apparently an amazing sight to look at this vineyard. This is a 2009, this is a joint uh, venture as we discussed. We, we, we did talk about the Barbier family when we were talking about Clos Mogador that we have had a couple of times together and come to their 100% owned uh, Grenache venture in Monsant. This is a partnership project, as we said, but it's got the imprimatur of uh, the Barbier, René Barbier and his wife Isabelle, with their focus on quality on, and on sort of special, you know, uh, places. It's an incredible amphitheater uh, shape, uh, kind of one of the people who visited says it looks very much like the Hermitage vineyards with the terraces and the steepness and the, the little bit of an altitude. The, their uh, Grenache vines, some of them are 120 years old, so really old uh, uh, vines. They make about 6,000 bottles a year, which is, I think it's about one big food. These food have 4,500 liters. They, they kind of old food were made out of wood, and they use that, and that produces about 6,000, uh, 6,500 bottles. Uh, uh, and so... Uh, that's it. And so it's a, it's not easy to find, you know, it's not cheap, but the, these guys' wines tend to be really on the premium side and it's hundred percent Grenache. We had it yesterday with dinner uh, with a, my neighbor and friend Francois was also a big uh, Grenache uh, uh, lover. He's from the, you know, sort of the mid to south of France, let's say. Anyway, let's see what we have here. This is the, the pour. It's really, it's gotten past that sort of brilliant red that you can see in Grenache. It's got a little bit of that brown tint to it. It's a 2009. It's very high alcohol, 15%, even back then. And uh, it's just a little bit murky, which again, we discussed before. I kind of like that also in the wine. It gives it body, it gives it uh, matter. On the nose, it's really fruit compote just straight down the line. It reminds me of the um, uh, uh, Chateau Neuf we had uh, a few days ago, that really deep, dark, old Grenache. And uh, it's got that really fruit compote, you know, cassis and other red fruit, but really in a, in a cooked, steep, thick, you know, kind of way. A little bit of liquor shows up on the end, which is again what you would expect. And uh, the wine is just had, this is the, the there's a little bit, the, the, I mean, you would expect some floral notes, but they still, to me, they're really overcome by the, by the, uh, by the fruit. It's got some nice acidity. That's why it was so good with the food last night. And it, it has, in the mouth, it mellows down a little bit. And, you know, you start feeling other things other than the just, just comp, compote, if you want. It's, uh, you get the acidity as we talk. The finish is really nice, very, very fine, you know, velvety, you know, nothing really shocking from a tannin point of view. And um, let's just do it some more. On the floral side, it's more that kind of uh, orange blossom maybe and, and, and a little bit of rose petal, but very, very faint. It's just a quite a complex wine. Once you let the, the big sort of punch, fruit punch, you know, uh, sort of dissolve a little bit, it, uh, it's just hedonistic. It's rich, it's powerful, it's just good. You drink it, you don't really feel like you're drinking a lot of alcohol, even though it's very high alcohol. It's one of those things that just almost sounds simple, but it isn't really. Very special wine. 
premium wine, premium prices, but you know, worth it, you know, equal in quality to some uh, Chateau Neuf that uh, probably could go up to twice uh, twice the price. And, and this is also a wine that can really keep uh, if you want to. Uh, anyway, an interesting bottle to seek out and I'm gonna enjoy finishing it off. See you.